this morning first. You do? Okay. Jesus' name, we pray for in heaven's name, we pray for the food in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So what I have here, we're going to talk about sin and God's forgiveness. So here, and here we're going to pretend that this is our heart. Okay? And here is going to be the forgiving spirit of Jesus. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a story about me. So it was a Friday afternoon, and my mom had made a cake for potluck. So I came into the kitchen. She had gone to the grocery store or something. And so I came into the kitchen and looked at the cake, and it was my favorite. It was a lemon cake. But you know what I noticed? There was a little cutout in the corner, because she had cut out a little square just to make sure it was baked OK. <laughs> So I looked at that cake and I looked at that square and guess what? I said, I think I could even out that square a little bit and just taste it. Was that wrong? Well, I was tempted, I hadn't done it yet, but then I got the knife, evened out the corners a little bit. Oh, it was so good. So that was my sin, right? So when I cut out that little square, so then I came back again. It was so good, I cut out another little bigger square. Just even it out a little more, OK? Then I did it one more time. Okay. Just then I heard the garage door open and my mom was coming back. So what did I do? I ran to my room and hid and got in the bed like I had been sleeping. So pretty soon I waited for it because I knew it was coming. Pretty soon I heard, Kim, come here. So I came into the kitchen, and I, did you eat this, did you cut this cake? Of course, I was only one home, remember? What did I say? Well, what? Sin makes you deaf sometimes, I think. Did you cut this cake? No. Another sin, Another sin for lying. Well, if you didn't cut this cake, who did? Well, sin makes you foolish and dumb. So I had to think. Well, I had a little dog, Angel. She was a little miniature Pekingese, maybe about eight months old, tiny little thing. I said, well, maybe Angel got in it. So another lie, right? So she said, you mean to tell me Angel got up on the chair, onto the table, got a knife, and cut the square out? Well, by then I realized, OK, there's no point. So <laughs> then what is the next thing I need to do? Tell the truth. OK. So I'm going to read a verse out of the Bible. This is 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay, so remember, this was the loving, forgiving spirit of Jesus. Are you listening? Okay. All right. Okay. So Jesus is pour out his loving, forgiving spirit. In time, this will be clear again because we forgave, we asked Jesus to forgive us for our sins, okay? All right, what else do we need to do after we ask forgiveness? Never do it again, change our ways, right? 
So I'm going to read another verse. Okay, and this is found in um, Isaiah 51.10. Okay, whoops. Wait a minute. Well, I know it by heart. I say it almost every night. I say, create in me a clean heart, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. So it's not good enough just to ask forgiveness, but we need to ask for a clean heart and change our ways, right? Okay, so I have something for you. I'm going to give each of you one of these. It's a white heart. It's a magnet you can put on your refrigerator and a little marker, and you can put whether it's a verse or your name or something that helps you remember that you want a clean heart, okay? All right, I'm going to give each of you one. And then who wants to pray at the end before you go get the offering? So who wants to pray? Okay, come on. Oh, two of you? Okay, come on. Jesus made me pray for us. Amen. Amen. Okay. Come on, Noah. Okay. Heavenly Father, we pray for this thing that I'm here with my friends and us and I'm going to have a fun day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Go get the offering. <laughs> 